Here we're going to tie the Quasimodo pheasant tail. First thing I did was start with a short shank hook, a bent hook as well, curved hook, and uh, put on an oversized bead. I went one size larger. Next thing to do is to tie in our tail. For our tail, we're going to use some pheasant tail. I try to align the fibers of the pheasant tail as much as I can here. The tail of this fly is very, very short. It's about the length of the straight portion of the shank of this hook, which isn't much. All I'm going to do is just tie that in. I'm going to take that tail and I'm actually going to wrap it down the bend of the hook on this fly to about the halfway point of the bend. I can take my thread forward here, trim out that pheasant tail. Next material we're going to tie in here is going to be the rib, which is just some fine or some small copper wire. I'm just going to tie this in right alongside of the hook as well. Then we're ready for the body material. I'm just going to take a few strands of pheasant tail once again. I'm going to trim the tip so they're nice and even. I'm just going to tie those in right at the back of the fly. And I can take my thread forward and I just take that pheasant tail and I'm going to wrap a nice delicate nice small body here being careful not to break these fibers Then I'm going to leave about a bead space of room here about a beads length away from the bead I can capture all that pheasant tail and trim it out of there next thing to do is take our copper wire and we're just going to counter wrap and wrap the opposite way that we wrap that pheasant tail. So lock it into place and really make that wire stand out. And once I get to the front of the fly here, I can capture that wire. And I can spin it out of place here. There we go. And I'm just going to reposition the hook here and straighten it up a little bit. The only reason I had it bent was for the tail. Now, the next thing to do is we're going to tie in the legs before we start on the thorax here. And the legs are basically some pheasant tail tips. And I'm going to tie them in facing forward on this fly. And I'm going to tie them in very short, about the length of the tail. I'm just going to tie those in just like so. I'm going to leave those facing forward for now, or up, that's kind of how they're sitting now. And I could trim out that pheasant tail. Now the next thing to do is to add the flash. For that I'm just going to use a strand of narrow pearlescent tinsel or two strands of pearl flashaboo. Either one works just fine. I'm going to tie this flash right on top of the shank of the hook. Now the next thing to do is to take a strand of peacock curl. I'm going to tie this in tip first. Take my thread all the way up here to the front of the fly. I'm going to take that peacock curl just build a little bit of a thorax here. Nice bushy thorax. And I can capture that peacock curl. If you need to, you can wrap in front of those legs. And I'm going to take that flash. I'm going to split the legs with the flash bite down on the flash. Oop, rolled a little bit on there. Try not to get it to roll on you. There we go. And your legs should for the most part fall into place. If you need to work them a little bit more you can just maneuver them with your fingers and lay down some wraps. Basically you want them to fall to 
each side. Once you've done that, you can whip finish. And you have a little Quasimodo pheasant tail. It's basically the same, same thing as a regular pheasant tail, just tied on a short shank hook, oversized the bead, nice stubby little fly, a little bit of flash to it. It's basically just the shorter, it's kind of a squatty little version of the pheasant tail. And that's the Quasimodo.